You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. Happening now, the Baja California Peninsula is getting quite a punch from Hurricane Odile. It made landfall this morning with sustained winds up to 125 miles per hour. As you can see in these images from yesterday, people did all they could to prepare. The National Hurricane Center says a dangerous storm surge is expected with major flooding and destructive waves on Mexico's Pacific coast. Ports and beaches are closed. School and celebrations for Mexico's Independence Day tomorrow are canceled in the area. Good thing we're not dealing with anything yeah, like that. Nothing like that, but for the folks yes. in the southwest that have been pounded with a lot of heavy rains, they're going to have some more out of this as this wow. thing continues to move up toward the north. In fact, let's go ahead and show you yeah. the latest satellite imagery of Hurricane Odile here as it's continuing to move off toward the north. You see where it kind of made landfall down near the tip, moving it out into the Gulf of California right now. And all that moisture is going to get drawn right up into the southwest, so places up toward Arizona and New Mexico. Uh, looking at uh, the flooding potential with the leftovers of that. We also have another hurricane out here. This Hurricane Edward here out in the middle of the Atlantic. Not a player because there's a cold front moving in. And it's going to take this storm system and curve it right back out to sea. I'm highlighting this because this one could become our first major hurricane of the season, of uh, the Atlantic hurricane season, I should say, with a Category 3 storm. But it's going to quickly move on up into the North Atlantic and not be a player for anybody along the eastern seaboard. So continue to be some good luck there across the um, eastern seaboard in the Gulf of Mexico for the hurricane season. Now, look at the current temperatures. Boy, they're getting camper down because of the cloud cover. 73 degrees here in Columbus, but they're breaking some sunshine in Eufaula at 80. 85 degrees in Albany, 73 degrees in Auburn. As we're dealing with the stationary boundary, still dealing with an easterly wind. You see the clouds there across Alabama and Georgia. Waiting for another frontal system upstream that's going to come on in and kind of clear everything out as we head toward the middle of the week. Again, you see the clouds starting to road down here to the south, so we'll break some sunshine a little bit later this afternoon. That may destabilize the atmosphere just enough to get a scattered shower or rumble of thunder. I don't think it'll be anything too widespread. Futurecast is showing this for today. Anything we see won't be too widespread for today. And then the rain chances will start to go down as we head into Tuesday. This is a frontal system back here to the north. This is going to actually come on in and sweep everything out. And Wednesday looking pretty good. In fact, not only Wednesday looking great, I think heading into the weekend, we're also going to be looking at some pretty good weather and definitely feeling a little bit more like fall. Let's go ahead and break it down by the zones. Yesterday's high was officially 90. Now, I'm hoping that's the last time we see that for the rest of the season as things begin to cool off now. 86 here in LaGrange for this afternoon, 84 degrees in Lafayette, 83 degrees in Pine Mountain. Shifting further south, looking at 84 for Auburn, 85 in Columbus, 88 in, in Fort Benning. Again, it's really going to be dependent on how much sunshine we break this afternoon will dictate those highs for today. And for the southern regions you follow, you should get close to 90, 88 in Cuthbert, and 88 degrees over into Dawson. Looking at the next seven days, looking at that 40% chance of rain for today, 30% for tomorrow. It looks like predominantly south for tomorrow, and then we're going to see that cooler weather move on in. Upper 60s for lows Wednesday morning, not bad, with a daytime high around 86. But check out uh, Friday especially, looking at a morning low down to around 63, 62 on Saturday morning. Daytime highs expected in the lower to mid-80s. It's going to feel quite refreshing as we're kind of getting our first you know, kind of taste of fall. Of course, we're about a week away from the official mm -hmm. beginning of fall, which mm -hmm. is, of course, September 22nd. So just a little taste. Just a little taste. Almost there. All right. All Thanks, right. Greg. We'll have you pre-ordered your new iPhone.